Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a review and demo video on a foundation. I'll be reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in today's video. First thing first, let's talk about the packaging of the foundation. So the foundation comes in this glass bottle with a plastic cap and you have a nice pump to dispense the product out of the container which is amazing. So this foundation contains 30 ml of product which is the standard uh, quantity for any foundation. The price of this foundation is 1200 rupees per bottle. The shade that I have in this foundation is in hazelnut and the number is 330. The texture of this foundation is quite runny and fluid so it's quite easy to blend in the foundation onto your skin and the shade hazelnut matches me very well on my complexion so I am glad that I picked up this color for me. So totally they have 11 shades in this foundation range and this is unfortunately the last shade available. So if you have a deeper complexion than mine, I don't think you have a match for your complexion in this range. That's very sad. So let me show you a quick demo of the foundation using a sponge and a buffing brush and then we'll talk more about the foundation. So on one side of my face, I'm going to apply the foundation using a damp beauty blender and the other side uh, I'm gonna use a buffing brush so let's just begin on this side of my face I'm gonna use the damp beauty blender so I'm just gonna dip the beauty blender on the foundation and kind of work the foundation into the sponge and I'm just gonna dab that on this side so as you can see the Beauty Blender blends the product really well. You don't really have to do a lot of hard work while applying this foundation because it's very very fluid in consistency. I'm also going to try and cover up the dark circles a little bit. So this side is done with one layer of foundation and this is how the foundation looks very natural and very lightweight i really don't feel like i'm wearing a foundation on the skin and it has managed to cover up my uh, problematic areas quite well but i can see a little bit of the hyperpigmentation and the acne spots on the cheeks so i'm just going to try and build up the layer So that's how a second layer looks. So I'm quite happy with the kind of coverage this foundation gave. It has managed to cover up a lot of my um, hyperpigmentation and spots really well but it really doesn't look that cakey. It is sort of on the natural side. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side but I'm going to use a buffing brush. So the brush I'm using is from CS Essentials and the brush number is uh, Buffing F4. So I'm just going to do a single layer first and see how the foundation performs with a buffing brush. So as you can see the buffing brush definitely gave me a lot of coverage. Uh, since this foundation is a bit runny and fluid the sponge soaks up a lot of the product so if you want more coverage and you want to save up uh, the product definitely go for the buffing brush so i think the foundation on this side has covered up a lot of my acne marks on the cheeks i'm quite happy with that but i can see a tiny bit of the hyperpigmentation on the um, mouth area so i'm just gonna build right here and i'm just gonna leave the rest of the face as it is So this is how the face looks with the foundation on. So I've used a sponge on this side and a buffing brush on this side. And this side is mostly just one layer of the foundation. And on this side, it's two layers with the sponge. So I'll just uh, give you a quick close up. Now 
Now to highlight the rest of the face, I'm using the Infallible Concealer from L'Oreal and the shade is 317 Almond. And this concealer is really amazing too. It provides a ton of coverage and you just have to apply a tiny amount and it blends beautifully as well. So I'm just going to use that to highlight the face. So this is how my face looks after using the infallible concealer to highlight the face. So this one gives a lot of matte finish to the skin unlike the foundation. The foundation is more of a satiny matte finish but this one is like proper proper matte. So if you have a drier skin type you may have to hydrate your skin very well before applying this concealer. Otherwise you can find this concealer a bit more drying. So now I'll just quickly go ahead and do the rest of the makeup and get back to you guys. So I'm back with a full face of makeup and this is how the face looks like. So the finish of the foundation like I mentioned is like a satin matte finish. Feels quite lightweight and comfortable on the skin and I really don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup on the face. It's quite lightweight. So this foundation is perfect if you're wearing it for your college or office. Uh, feels quite comfortable throughout the day. I have worn this foundation many a times before making this video So I really know how well uh, this foundation performs and how it feels on the skin So the brush and the beauty blender they both gave me the same kind of result. I would say there is no such uh, difference to spot the only thing is that the brush gives a better coverage than the beauty blender. So the coverage of this foundation I would say is medium to buildable full coverage. It's definitely not light. Uh, it is straight up a medium coverage and if you want more coverage, you can definitely build it up to a fuller coverage foundation. It doesn't look cakey at all even if you build up the layers. It is very very runny and fluid in texture so it doesn't make your skin look cakey or anything of that sort. It just melts into the skin and blends effortlessly. That's what I really like about this foundation. It's just extremely easy to blend the foundation. It takes no time to uh, blend in the foundation into your skin. I really don't know about the 24 hour claim of this foundation but I can definitely guarantee about seven to eight hours of wear from this foundation on my oily skin. My skin is extremely oily. I have mentioned this many a times in my videos, uh, but this foundation does manage to save for quite a long period of time. Even the color match of this foundation is perfect on me. As you can see, there is no difference between the face and my neck but the sad thing is that if you are any deeper than my skin tone you won't be able to find your complexion shade because this is the last shade that they have so I really wish that they bring out more darker and deeper uh, foundation shades in this particular range because it's such a great foundation that it makes me really sad to know that there are no more darker shades uh, apart from this particular uh, foundation shade. So if you are any deeper than me, you won't be able to find your match in this range. It also doesn't crease on my smile lines too much. Uh, I would say it stays put for about 5 hours and then I start to see a little bit of the creasing on the smile lines but until uh, five hours or so it does stay put in place very well and after that it kind of becomes dewy and glowy on the skin this foundation also adds a soft blurring effect to the skin as well it's not too blurring but you can definitely see a difference once you apply the foundation that uh, the pores look a bit more minimized and even if you try to layer up the foundation it looks kind of on the natural side it doesn't look too makeupy on the skin so that's something i really really like about this foundation so overall i really like the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i know it's a bit more on the pricier side but i think it's totally worth your money because it is one of those really great foundations available in the Indian market. If you can afford, definitely go for it. Or you can definitely wait for a sale to come and then buy this foundation. Since this foundation is quite fluidy and gives a beautiful soft uh, satiny matte finish, it is suitable for all skin types. Even if your skin is dry, it really won't give you any problem in blending and wearing this foundation. So those are my thoughts about the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and 
I really hope that you guys found this video useful and helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. And that's about it for today's video and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!